morning everybody i'm uh i'm here in central missouri at one of my local uh one of my local fishing holes um i posted a few days ago that i had bought the new perception outlaw and um some of you guys said that you wanted to wanted to wanted me to keep you informed on it and uh let you guys know how it uh how it performed and everything. Um, this is my actual first day going to be on the water fishing with it. Um, I did take it out before I bought it, um, and I completely fell in love with it. Uh, I put it up against the uh, Bonafide SS-127. I put it up against the uh, Jackson Big Rig, and I put it up against the New Canoe Frontier 12. And uh, <clears throat> this boat, it's it, it's not the fastest, um, but stability-wise, it... Uh, to me personally, it didn't, uh, it, it, it performed great. Um, to me, it was more stable than, than the other three. And that's why, um, that's why I, I went with this boat. Um, it does lack internal storage. It don't have internal storage or anything like that. Um, but, uh, the stability alone was, was probably the main reason I, I, uh, I decided to buy this boat. I, uh, I never, stood in a kayak before because I was always too obviously too afraid to stand in a kayak but uh, I got out on the water and within literally a minute of paddling I was uh, standing up sorry for the wind it's it's kind of windy out here so uh, I apologize for that um, but yeah this uh, this boat so far from what I've had it on the water and then just just having it period uh, it's been a great boat but uh, let me let me put down my coffee and then I'll uh, I'll get into the boat So, this is the 2020 Perception Outlaw. It's, uh, I really don't know what really to, to say about it besides it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, I went ahead and got these saddlebags. Uh, I wanted to get these because uh, I, I do carry a kayak crate in the back but I wanted to be able to put some stuff next to me so I wouldn't always have to be um, turning around and trying to get everything. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really, really great boat. Um, it's got a nice big tank well in the back. Um, this right here is obviously where your, where your seat will go whenever you pull it off. Um, these double barrel rod holders, they are amazing. Um, this, I really don't know what this strap right here is for. Um, as you can see inside right there, it don't come all the way across. It just kind of anchors over here on this side. So, I mean, you can probably find uses for that, but I haven't really found anything useful for it yet. Um, they got cup holders on each side. Uh, and this, uh, this padding right here, um, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, and it's really... It's almost kind of like has like a memory foam feel to it. Um, it's really nice. It feels really good on uh, on your on your feet. And uh, honestly, you could probably stand up all day um, inside of this boat. Uh, it's, it's it's actually a really really nice boat. Uh, another selling point for me was the seat. Um, the seat is really wide and it's really long. Um, it supports the back of your legs really well. And uh, I, re I really, I really like that. Um, now, getting the seat back, folding it up and putting it in the back position, there's just them four orange bungee cords. Um, it's easy, you just pop them out and, and throw it back. Um, and then you got, like, like, like they said in the videos before, let me turn this camera around again. You just pop these right here fold that up and then you got to undo the two in the back but then you've got this big spacious area right here as well and then uh another thing is where these saddlebags go there is a little drain right here to go right into your scupper plugs um i found that pretty pretty handy just in case you're taking some waves over the side or or anything um one thing that i think you should probably look into doing which i'm going to do later on is this plastic back here on the seat 
there's nothing under there to protect the plastic from the from the metal seat so you might want to get some kind of c deck padding or or some kind of padding like that to uh to put there because you know we all know metal and plastic isn't gonna fare very well over a over a long period of time so that might be something you you want to uh want to invest in later on um another thing is uh this boat really does not have any foot pegs um but what they did do let me move my paddle what they did do is they did put these little um foot braces right here um i'm six foot and when i put my feet on these on either side it's to me it's the perfect height or the perfect length for my legs um and yeah it's it's to me it's just the perfect perfect length you know it's not too long it's not too short it's just right there it's 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 a really comfortable and also what they did is you've got gear tracks right here um this this also doubles as a handle um, which is really really convenient um and with the lack of gear tracks they put in these solo mounts and it comes with a, a ram ball mount that you can just screw right down into this um and it comes with three of them um there's one on each side of the of the boat and then there's one right here in the middle uh, kind of by where your feet go um but yeah i it's i can't complain so far i mean i'm 265 pounds on a good day and uh six foot tall and this boat just it does amazing um there was actually no water coming up through the scuppers when i was standing up now one thing about this boat is the nose whenever you stand up the nose does kind of dive down a little bit um but still there was no water coming up through the scuppers i uh when i was sitting in the seat i was rocking the boat every which way i could and no water absolutely no water was coming up through the scupper holes um any water that was in the boat was for me getting in the water to get in the boat um, was from my shoes um yeah, it was, uh, it was great. I, uh, I, uh, I really enjoy this boat. Um, and the price point is great as well. It's, uh, 729 is what, uh, is what I got this boat for. And, uh, I mean, you just can't beat, you can't beat the price of that boat for, for an American made boat and a boat, um, that has the features that it does. Um, it don't have, you know, the console, it don't have gear tracks everywhere. It don't have a, it don't have a front hatch. It's just got the, the, the mesh, what somebody called it, a asked if it was a trampoline on a, on a post that I had seen. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to keep, you know, dry bag, you know, cooler, whatever up there. Um, and it does, let me move the camera around again. It does come with this paddle park right here. And then I just got one of these Yak Attack paddle park deals, um, and it suits me well. But if, if, if you're standing up, you can just park your paddle right there, and where you would be standing, it would come to about just about waist high, maybe a little bit over. Um, like I said, I'm six foot, so, uh, you know, everybody's different. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't, uh, give enough props to perception for for making a great boat um with the with the kind of boats that are out there today i mean they really they really made it competitive with this boat definitely they definitely made it competitive um it's going to be hard for for a lot of other companies if they want to do a a budget boat like this with the features that it has and the stability that it has it's going to be hard for for other companies to come up with something um but yeah, I'm going to get everything set in here. I'm going to try to get out on the water for a little bit. It's about 36 degrees right now, so it's kind of chilly. The wind's blowing a little bit. But uh, but yeah, I will, uh, once the weather warms up a little bit, I will uh, I might even do it out on the water later today. Um, somebody asked if I'd do a, a video of me standing up or accessing everything in the back. Um, yeah, I definitely will. Um, but I want to get everything in the boat. I want to get out there and... Uh, I want to see how everything's going to go. So uh, I appreciate you guys that watch this video. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, just feel free to get a hold of me on Facebook or comment on here or whatever. And I'll, uh, I'll do my best to answer all your guys' questions. Thanks, guys.
Tight lines. Yeah.